Hello everybody and welcome back. It is Dark Razdeath bringing you guys a event video right at the start of the event for a change and I am giving going I'm bringing you guys this video to talk about the facility level and why it is important that as you are going through the story as soon as you finish a story mission and you have enough to get your next facility level immediately get it started. Don't rush it with where my each one is three four five six minutes seven minutes um it's not going to take you very long uh don't rush it uh you're going to need snackle lanterns which are this currency right here uh and the reason why this is important is after you complete squash the pumpkin beginner you are going to need level five facility for squash the pumpkin standard then you're going to need facility level eight to do the next one and I really quickly wanted to mention if you guys are currently re-rolling and this is the banner you guys decided to start your game or if you are a newer player who does not have the ability to make elemental weapons yet for three star from the event this is the first thing that I would recommend you guys to buy which is these three star elemental weapons because you are going to be able to max limit break them before you can if you don't have the uh, proper facility level, the proper smithy level to get these weapons, to get a three star elemental, you can start off your game with a really strong weapon and weapons are everything in this game. So the fact that you can get this before uh, you're able to actually craft the three star elementals yourself is a great start. The second thing that I'm going to recommend everybody to buy this is going to make your entire event experience quicker. It's going to make it easier, especially if you have bad gotcha luck. Uh, is If you're not buying the weapons or if you are buying them, the second thing you're going to want to buy is this uh, right here. And you're going to, because this is going to give you your lanterns faster and your trick-or-treats faster. Which the trick-or-treats are the jack chocolates, which means you'll be able to get... Uh, hold on, are these the trick-or-treats? Uh, maybe it also affects the candy baskets. But these are going to be for your uh, your bigger items, your uh, your extra items down here. Uh, normally, you would need to farm dragons for this. So a newer player is going to be able to get to higher dragons without having the proper might. They'll be able to get the orbs outside of light day. Uh, free rupees here, 250k, uh, 50k mana here, some really good water, and then of course the weapons. Twinkling Sand, this is the last thing that I would buy unless you are going straight for 5 star elemental weapons. Uh, this, sh I would personally use this on the 4 star uh, wep 4 star character you are currently wa wanting to work on, such as uh, Celiara if you're working on her, or Ryozin's a good example. Uh, that's what I would use this on. And... Then I'm going to post a couple of screenshots here of the extra events that you can unlock after this. So you have the Nightly Haunts, which is once a day, which gives you quite a bit of gold. You have Squash the Pumpkin, which goes uh, Beginner, Standard, Expert. And then you have the Revenge of the Pumpkin, which if you do it with feathers, you can actually proc the challenge mission, which neither of those have a facility requirement as far as I know. But uh, that is it for me. I'm going to post the screenshots, hopefully right here while, with my audio. And uh, see you guys in the next video. If you like the video, please uh, click that like button. If you want to keep watching more content of mine, hit the subscribe button. See you guys later. All right, guys. And to add on to the video here, we unlocked the Hallow of Horrors, the next part, by completing the expert of the last one the squash the pumpkin and uh we have now seen that you need a sweet retreat facility of level 10. uh i will continue to add on to this video if we see on uh, if we see that we need any more facility levels for the rest of the event but so far this is all we need all right and for the last segment of this video we're going to talk about the most important feature which is I was farming the expert while waiting for my facilities to my uh, snack shack to get to its next level and I procced EX battle by using wings. I joined a co-op and that means that they fixed one of the biggest gripes from the last event which was yes Gaither wings were a problem because we weren't getting them enough. But the bigger problem was that you weren't proccing the EX raid from joining a co-op. It was only from you hosting. 
And so we can see here, it does not have a stamina requirement. Uh, it probably, oh, it's solo, right? This is solo, so zero stamina. It's not gonna cost you any wings. This is going to be the best way to level up your account. And we've already seen the Halloween Horrors. This is the only level as far as I know, and it requires facility level of 10. We already went over that. Uh, and that is it for you guys. Uh, hopefully this helped. Uh, the last thing is from clearing the EX battle, that is where you go to get your candy basket. And as far as I know, you can only get one per. It may be more depending on your luck. I haven't done it myself. We just procced it. So hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you next time.